like friends forever and be mine. And do you know what I think is even more fun? Giant candy hearts. My mom helped make these to give to my friends. Do you want to see them? Great, let's look at the first one. This one says, smile big. Can you all show me your biggest, most giant smiles? One, two, three, smile. Those are such great smiles. Do you want to see the next heart? This one is so fun. It says, hug me. Let's all practice our hugs. Give yourself the biggest hug you can. Ready? Hug. Okay, we made another giant heart. Can't wait to show you. This one says, hearts party. I'm gonna have a heart party with my friends. It will be so fun. I have more hearts too. I wonder what I should write on these. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Have a big heart, do you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I was just thinking on what to write on the rest of these hearts for my friends. Hearts are fun. It's true. They help us remember who loves you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Uh, cutie. Aw. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog Stormy Jane. I was just reading all the messages on these candy hearts my friend gave me. Oh, Stormy, this one is for you. It says, love you. I love you a whole lot, Stormy Jane. Aw, <laughs> you love me too. Thanks, Stormy. <laughs> oh. Silly dog, you can't eat the candy hearts. <gasps> But you can have a dog treat. Here you go, girl. <laughs> well, today's story is about someone who loves us a whole lot. Our true story from the Bible is about Jesus. And we know that Jesus can do amazing things that only he can do. Jesus is an awesome teacher. And people would come from far away to hear him teach. A lot of people would come to hear Jesus teach. Wait, Stormy Jane. <laughs> You weren't in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. Back to the story. These people that came to hear Jesus teach knew that Jesus is amazing. And they wanted to see him and hear him and get close to him. Well, one day when Jesus was teaching, people brought their children to see Jesus. Raise your hand if you are a child. Yes, there were children like you. The parents wanted their children to get so close to Jesus because they knew Jesus was so special and amazing. But Jesus' disciples stopped the children from coming to Jesus. They didn't want the children to be near Jesus while he was teaching. The disciples told the children to go away. But Jesus called the children to him and said, let the children come to me. Jesus opened his arms wide and the children went to him. They were able to be near him and know how much Jesus loved them. Jesus told the crowd to never stop children from coming to see him because Jesus loves children. Did you hear that? Jesus loves children. That's you. Raise your hand if Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus loves children. That means he loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus wanted the children to come to him because he loved them so much. And that means Jesus loves you and me too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. Hey, I know what I'm gonna write on these hearts for my friends. Jesus loves you. See you next time. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18